Okay, so I've owned this helmet for about a year. Um, it's a Nolan N43 Outlaw. Um, it's what they call three quarters helmet. Some people call this a modular. I don't really believe this constitutes a, a modular helmet. Um, and the way I've got it configured is a standard way. Um, it's a three quarters because the chin chin guard is removable. Um, so I, I want to go through the features of this helmet here. Um, I'm coming from a uh, former uh, evil spell, uh, flat black. So you can tell I like flat black. Uh, this is a flat black um, with no textures. Um, it's a little bit dirty, um, very dusty, and uh, face shield is uh, not particularly clean. But that's because I use it. So, the biggest difference from a standard uh, helmet is that it's a three quarters helmet. So, I'm, I'm going to try and do this without uh, with one hand. It is difficult. So, I'll pull this off. And there you go. So, this sometimes makes it easier to get on and off. Um, I can put it on and off without removing my glasses. I do wear glasses. Uh, it is very comfortable, but it's noisier than I would like it to be. Um, it's not all that much different from my former. Um, I expected it to be quite a bit, uh, a bit, quite a bit more quiet than, than my last helmet, but it's not. And it's probably because of this vent. This is a gigantic vent. Um, I used it, was it last year or the year before? Uh, I rode to the mountains and spent a week out in the mountains. Um, it was hot that day. Um, I still sweated. Um, but, uh, I guess a good thing about this helmet is the fact that it, that vent is big. Um, you can feel it on your scalp, the wind flowing through and it vents out the back and those here and here venting down. Um, I'm trying to see if there's another helmet here, uh, another vent. There is not. Um, but this system only works when there's airflow. So in traffic, that's not going to work. Um, also you can see there's a vent here um, this, this face shield is big um, and I just hit the, hit the first detent here I was gonna talk about that in a second but that face shield is big I can wear that helmet just like that if I wanted to but I feel a little bit uncomfortable without having uh, chin protection um, this plastic piece may, might not seem all that protective but it's actually very strong um, this is like a, I guess a wind guard. It's supposed to help cut down on the wind noise. Um, I haven't noticed any difference with it or without it. With, without it. Uh, it will pull off. I tend to leave it on. So, looking at this face shield, that is a very large face shield. Um, I like it because even if I'm riding with you know with the with the chin off I've done it before um it it makes me feel less closed in um and it's good for people who might be claustrophobic um it is rather difficult to pull uh, to remove um you, I don't believe you'll be removing up this all that much it, it's pretty much bulletproof um if you're going to be rotating back and forth between uh between tinted shields and this, yeah, you probably need to do it. Uh, I believe you can remove this with, I'm not going to demonstrate it now. Um, it's, I've seen videos of how to remove it. Um, so if you're, if you're curious about that, you can just Google it. But uh, you can use a key to pull this off and from there the mechanisms will, you know, it'll pop off. Um, what I like about this helmet is the fact that I can change it in the different configurations. Um, so the first configuration was the one where 
the chin bar was a uh, was connected second configuration would be without it being connected um, you can also just take the, the windscreen off and use it just like that um, it also comes with a, a duck bill here um, what else it's supposed to be seven different configurations um, what I like about this windscreen is the fact that it does not fog it's got the pin lock system it comes with it um, with other helmets, you might it might be uh, I guess uh, an additional or optional feature, which means you're going to pay for that. Um, you can't just stick on a pin lock system. The 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 windscreen has to be designed for the pin lock. Uh, you see these detents here. This was this is where you would place it place it inside and mount it. Um, I have tried this in the uh, in the winter. Um, I usually don't ride in the winter. I have before, but I I've got a a very nice play toy for winter driving, and uh, I tend to use that now. But um, this thing actually works. The pin lock system, um, along with this vent down here, um, it helps out a ton. I've rarely seen it fog up. Um, and again, this that 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 pin lock system, uh, it comes standard with this helmet. Um, almost everything is standard with this helmet. Um, another feature that I like, uh, in fact, uh, just go off on a tangent here. You can open and close that vent. There's only one. Um, another feature that I like is the fact that uh, I can drop down this face shield here. very simple to do with gloves you don't have to sit there fumbling at a light or fumbling when you're trying to ride um, pull it up here in fact I felt comfortable riding with this up in very hot weather I'll, I'll ride with this up or with the detent down and I'll also uh, drop this down um, but it is cool the only thing I don't like about this uh, this drop down shield uh, or shade is the fact that uh, it doesn't drop down. If you look at it; it could stand to drop down further. I guess it would depend on how your head and face are built. Um, you know, this helmet is designed for people with probably more oval shaped heads than oblong. So if you're trying to wear this helmet, um, in addition to having uh, pressure point problems at the top of your head, if you have an oblong head, um, this shield will probably not go down as far as it would if you had a round head. Um, but you know, I've got an oblong head. Um, I guess I'm maybe in between because I I don't have any issue with pressure points, but I do feel that this doesn't drop down all the way. Um, it hasn't really bothered me all that much from riding, and it does help instead of me having to put on like uh, uh, clip-ons, uh, clip-on shades on my on my glasses. Um, also, as you can see here, I've got it raised all the way up. That's my uh, GoPro mount that I stuck on there. Um, it's got two detents. Whereas the, the first iteration of this helmet did not, and it was a big, you know, people complained a lot about it. So that's the, that's where it's all the way down. That's the first detent. That's the second detent. And I have occasionally ridden with that first detent up just to get some additional airflow, usually when it's very hot. Um, let's see here. I, when I mounted this, there's a seam, there's a, there's a slight peak going down the helmet here. And it, it made mounting this, uh, this sticky mount a bit difficult. So what I did was I cut down the middle. If you can see there. And I stuck it and you can actually see where 
Hey, you can still see some daylight in the corners there. I can't get too close with this camera. There you go. So as you can see here in the corner, you can see a little bit of shadow there and there. It's not full flushed, but this, this tape is very strong. Um, and if you're worried about it, uh, you know, the, the sticky coming off when you got your camera mounted on there, uh, you can uh, use a string or something as a lanyard so that if it does come off, you won't lose your camera. And of course, all of this washes off, and I'm trying, I don't want to hold this. Uh, I want to turn it upside down, but I don't want to mar the paint or scratch anything. So what we'll do is we'll kind of play it by ear. This helmet is very comfortable. Um, you can pull all this stuff out here and uh, wash it. Um, there's videos for, for that as well. I think it's Revzilla. Um, this mounting... Uh, uh, they don't use the standard D-rings, but this clip is very comfortable. It's very adjustable. You could use it when uh, when your hands are fully gloved uh, to take on and off. Um, so it's 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 something that that uh, I kind of cherish. It kind of speeds up my process of getting dressed uh, for riding, or if I have to take on or off the helmet when uh right after I've gassed up. It's a DOT helmet. But it's not, I don't think it has a snow rating. I'm not sure. Uh, it also takes the Incom system. Here's the paneling here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy that. That's something that doesn't come with the standard helmet. Um, it, it's not something you you actually need. It's a want. Um, it does come in handy if you like riding two up. Or if you ride in groups where other people might have the income system as well. Um, you could also use it for, you know, you know it, as a Bluetooth tie into your phone. Um, if you're using your GPS system or you want to answer... Uh, phone calls or make phone calls maybe that might c come in handy in an emergency situation where someone is harassing you or or uh, you've just been in an accident or you've just witnessed an accident um, all that will come in handy um, you can pretty much do it hands free depending on the configuration of your phone um, what else paint is holding up great I've always liked the matte feel. It's a high quality helmet. I bought this on sale, but it's still, you know, my first helmet was a hundred dollar helmet. Um, and it functioned fine. Um, I mean, I was happy with it and it did what it was supposed to do. Um, but I really don't think that anyone's gonna sell hundred dollar helmets with the features and the modularity of this helmet so uh, this one cost me I think 350 bucks and I do believe they come out with a new version an upgraded version in it uh, it's got all the same features but the, the shaping everything's a little bit different and once you know that came out when uh not long after I bought this. But I'm happy with this. On my uh on my former helmet I have a GoPro mount mounted here on the top and also on the side. I didn't really want to put one on the side of this. I would have been more comfortable to put it here since I'm uh you know since I'm using the throttle, I, that's the way I. That's the, where I have the mount at on my former helmet. I don't have it on this side, so my option would be to put it on this side. But as you can see, there's not a lot of room to play with here. I would have to put it here, which would be kind of behind my head, probably behind my ear area, and that would be kind of. I don't believe that would be a good place to put a mount. So my my options are mounting 
it, it's probably limited with this helmet. Um, what else? I believe that's it. I mean, I've covered everything, and I've I've, I've got footage of me kind of going over to the the I guess reviewing this helmet and everything. Um, but I never did post it in. I've got the footage somewhere, but instead of trying to dig it up, I decided to go ahead and try it and do another one. Really love the face shield here. All right.